Hi there, beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today, we're going to be cash stuffing our second full-time paycheck for the month of December. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys had a good night. <laughs> it hasn't been long since I posted that other video, so there will still be a winner announced from that video, and I'm kind of glad that it worked out this way, so that, you know, the person who wins is actually somebody who has their notifications on, jumped on that video, and was on it. So, kind of glad about that. But I'll be announcing the winner to that video somewhere in this video, so go ahead and continue watching, and it'll pop up somewhere. In addition to that, that means this video also has a chance to win, so make sure you're subscribed, leave a positive comment down below, and then you will be entered to win for the next video, which will be dropping, I guess, on Tuesday, I think. I'll let you guys get through Christmas. Me too. Anyway, let's start this video with a prompt -a card if you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is, oh my goodness. Let's do this one. Do you enjoy the outdoors? How much camping have you done? No. I mean, yes. No, yes. Yes, no. I don't know. Okay. I like being outside. I like sitting on my front porch. I like um, just enjoying the breeze, the sounds, the birds, all of the things. I don't, however, like the bugs. And camping for me equals bugs, sweat, and ew. <laughs> however, I grew up camping a lot. And maybe that's why I feel that way about it. I don't know. But I did grow up camping a lot. So I have a lot of that in my background. However, I don't really enjoy that as much as I did when I was little. So what about you guys? Do you enjoy the outdoors and how much camping have you done? All right, today we are gonna be working on paycheck number two. We got paid $2,388, which was about $188 more than I expected, which is always good. We are putting $700 into bills, that is for January, so I'll be showcasing that in prop bills as we put that in our bills advancement envelope. That leaves $1,688 that we are going to stuff in all of these envelopes. We won't go over them now, we'll do it together as we stuff. All right, I have all the cash here. This is $700 in prop bills and the rest of this is cash. So, as I said, $700 is in prop bills. The rest of this is cash, which we'll stuff in this video, but it is the full $2,388. The first thing I want to start with is my hubby's envelopes. These aren't his real envelopes, actually. He has his own envelopes that look similar to this, um, labeled differently, but he keeps those on him, and when he gets home, he will transfer into his regular envelopes. So this is just temporary envelopes. But I am going to be stuffing his gas money for the next two weeks. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. $200 for the next two weeks of gas. And then for his spending money, we decided we're going to start splitting it in half. So now he will get 85 and I will get 85. And then the remainder of what we would have gotten goes into mental health. So we're going to start doing that this upcoming new year. So there's no more confusion on whose week is what week to get their full spending. <laughs> so he's getting 85. Fifty, seventy, eighty-five. That's for his spending money for the next two weeks. And he is all stuffed up. And now it's my turn. This is my wallet. I do have a bunch of receipts here that I'll need to scan into 
my fetch rewards if you guys don't know what that is it's an app that you can use you just take pictures of your receipts as you get them you earn points you can exchange those points for gift cards they have a lot of different gift cards to choose from i usually stick to amazon because i'm an amazon girl but it's free cash for spending that you were already doing anyway. So if you guys are interested, go download Fetch Rewards and use my code below. It will give you a free 2,000 points after you scan your first receipt. It'll give me 2,000 points. We'll be friends on there. It'll be fun. We get to earn money together. All right, so let me empty out my wallet. I'm sorry if you hear my dogs barking, but I kind of don't want to stop. So I still have the $30 from gas. I'm going to put that aside for right now. And I have $1 left over in miscellaneous, and that is it. I do have some coins here, so let me go ahead and empty those out too. We are going to be doing the coin rolling video that I did last year. I'm going to be doing it again this year. So stay tuned to that. All of those coins I'm going to roll up and we're going to see how much that is. And I'll go and exchange it at the bank for real dollars. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and give myself my 85 for spending for the next two weeks. So that's 50, 70, 85. For gas, I get 30, 20, 30. For my kids' allowances, they get two tens and eight fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is 10, 20, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. And that's for the next two weeks of allowances for my three kiddos. For um, kids spending, I just throw a 20 in there. And then for miscellaneous, I put a 10. And that will do it for my wallet. I'm all stuffed up. What was that? That was weird. Okay. All right, we're gonna move on to revolving. Starting with, of course, groceries. So for groceries, I'm putting $800 in here. Let's see if I can get it all. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's $800, so next two weeks for a family of five and sometimes six. That should, should do it. We're gonna skip dining out, but we are going to put $5 into my pets. All right. We have 20, 30, 5, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So we have $60 in my pets. I love that. We're going to skip over extra toiletries, beach pass, miscellaneous, back to bank is only for WTF Wednesdays, and rollover. So let's keep moving. We're going to move over to my short term binder. And starting with self-care, I will be putting $5 into haircuts. And hopefully this gets us up to where we need to be for two more haircuts. Let's see. 20, 40, 45, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, and 65. Um, it's close. I still need five more dollars to make this 70, which is enough for two haircuts for my husband and my son. So that's what, 65, and then 85, 95, 100. So that's $100 in self-care. For home, we're not stuffing that. I'm not gonna stuff gifts or clothing, but I will stuff family fun, $5. 
So now we have 10, 15, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 35. That's good. We're getting up there. We're going to skip Amazon and we're going to date night. We're going to put $5 into that. So now we have 10, 25, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 45. Awesome. And then for gaming, I had three extra dollars in my budget, so I just popped them in here. So now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2. So 32 in gaming, which is also awesome. For mental health, we are going to put 130 in. So do that in two 50s, two 10s, and two 5s. Not that 5. Let me find a not so good 5 since it just goes back to the bank. Yeah, these two. Okay. Two fifties, two tens, and two fives. So that's 50, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30. So now mental health has 50, 100, 50, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 245, 55, and 260. That's enough for four appointments. We are two appointments ahead, which I love, just in case. For long term, we're only going to stuff um, vacation in here. I'm just going to put $10 in. It's just a regular check, so I can't really do too much in that regard, but 10 is better than zero. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a thousand. One, two, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, three, ten, fifteen, twenty. So one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars now in cruise. And that will do it for this binder. I'm not going to stuff any of these this time. For holidays, we are going to be stuffing for Valentine's Day. That's in two months. So if I start now, I can go slow, like with small amounts. So I'm putting five in. So now it has $20 in Valentine's. For hubby, stuffing for his birthday next year. We're going to be putting 15 in. So now he has 10, 25, 30. Wifey also stuffing for my birthday next year, which is in April. I'm putting 10, 15. So now I have 1, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 206 for my birthday. Should be right on track. And not stuffing for Christmas yet. I'll start that in January. Moving on to business, I did want to put $5 into my budget supplies because I know how much my stickers were. So I have to make sure that I have enough for that, and I needed $5, so here we are. Now we have 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, wait, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 76. I'll leave that until WTF Wednesday or something. I don't know. We'll leave it for now. And that'll do it for this binder. Okay. 
All right, it's time to choose today's winner. This comes from the video that I posted last night. I know that it wasn't a lot of time for everyone to watch it, and my apologies for that, but that video took forever to make and edit and then upload. So this is just gonna be a quick one. So I'm kind of glad. That means the person that wins is going to be somebody who was on those notifications, so thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose today's winner, filtering duplicate users, like always. Let's get these comments. 42 unique comments. That's still quite a bit of comments in just the short amount of time that video was posted. So let's go ahead and see who today's winner is. Vanessa Vincent. Thank you so much for this video. It is really inspiring that I can stop living paycheck to paycheck in a short amount of time if I focus. Oh, I know stuff you might unbelieve that are necessary because even though the challenges do seem fun, it is very overwhelming just thinking about completing those. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I wish you all the best in getting out of the rut of paycheck to paycheck. It is not fun, but this cash envelope system definitely can help you get there. So I'm glad that you won. You are our ninth winner for this month, Vanessa Vincent. Go ahead and email me at thrivinginchaosbudgeting at gmail.com and I'll get you your Amazon gift card as soon as possible. But we're still not over. December is still in full swing. Next week, I will be dropping three videos and each one has a chance to win a $15 Amazon gift card. So make sure you're subscribed, leave a positive comment in this video, and I will announce the winner on Tuesday after Christmas. Again, just a thank you for 3000 subscribers for just supporting me and being here with my journey. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm very grateful and I'm giving back. So don't miss a beat. Go ahead and do those things and I will announce a new winner next Tuesday. Back to the video. Moving on to my kids binder, stuffing for their birthdays. They get $20 each. So now my son has $60, 20, 40, 60. My daughter will have 20, 40, 60, 80. Her birthday is one paycheck ahead of his birthday. They're that close. For my youngest, she's getting 20 as well. So now she has 120, 40, 60, 80. And all the cars are capped at a thousand. So let's keep moving. Moving on to my kids' savings. We have grad party. We always put $25 from every paycheck into there. So 25. So now grad party has five, six, six fifty, seventy, ninety. 7, 10, 30, 40, 45, 50, so 750. That's really good. We're going to put $5 into each of their graduation gifts. So that's 45 for my son. For my daughter, we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 395. So almost 1,400. For my youngest, she's getting five as well. So now she has 120, 30, 35. So 135. For their savings, I'm also going to put five dollars in. It's just a slow grow savings for them. So now they have 1,100, 200, 250, 270, 280, 285, 290, 295, 300. So 1,300 dollars for their savings. And each of them are the same, so I will just put five dollar. I'm missing a five. Where did I mess up? I messed up somewhere, guys. Let's um, make change. We'll put a 10 in. Uh, 
All right, and then five for my youngest. I know I messed up somewhere, and I'll figure it out. All right, moving on to my savings. I am going to be putting $20 into our savings. So now we have 500, 600, 700, 720, 40, 45, 750, and 755 which is good and I think that'll do it for this binder and I already know I'm missing five dollars so I put a ten somewhere that it was supposed to be a five you probably caught that I did not it probably was one of my kids graduations that's my best guess but what I'll do is I'll fix it after the video when I'm editing and I see exactly where my error was um, so Rest assured, it'll be fixed. <laughs> All right, so moving on to my reserves binder. I will be stuffing our health savings with $60, but at this moment, it's going to be 55 until I find where I put that tin at, and then I'll swap them. But for now, $55 into medical bills is where I'm putting it. So we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 310, 315. And we have, let's see, in copays, another 20, so 335, and another 10 in medicine, so 345 in total, which is only temporary because once I pay the doctor bills, it'll definitely be going right back down. All right, going to bills advancement. We're working on... One month ahead, which is January. This is what we already have set aside for January. We're adding the 700 here. So our goal is 1350, I mean 2350. So we have 1000, 2000, 1, 2, 3, 350. So we have the full amount for January in here. So we are good to go. And then we are working slowly on being two months ahead, which we have a little over $400 towards that goal. Slowly but surely, but that's one of my goals for 2023. And as you can see, we are done. We have no more bills to stuff. However, I am going to be putting this $30 into cost of living. It was a tank of gas, but I didn't need it. So I'm just gonna add it to here just to build up this backup plan for gas, which was due to inflation. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, two, three, four, five, sixty-five dollars <laughs> in cost of living. I didn't really want to stuff my savings challenges yet anyway, because I want to start at the new year in January. So that worked out. All right, and we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching, for joining my journey. I really appreciate it. If you're still watching or you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey because remember, we all have one, whether you do it or not. I will see you guys on Tuesday. I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. I'm looking forward to rolling those coins with you and announcing a new winner. So don't forget, this video has a chance to win a $15 Amazon gift card. So make sure you're subscribed, leave a positive comment below, and you are entered to win. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. As always, until next time, Merry Christmas!